Greetings, Mathophiles, and welcome to a video on a way of graphically representing solutions to differential equations called a slope field. It's a marvelous device uh, that, as you'll see, has the potential to help you to answer initial value problems even when you don't know how to approach the differential equation analytically. We're going to start with something quite simple, though. Uh, something along the lines of dy dx equal to 2x, which is about as simple a differential equation as you can ever hope to encounter. All you need to do is integrate with respect to x. And of course, the thing that gives you a dy dx of 2x is x squared, or you know potentially x squared plus a constant, right? So solutions to the differential equation dy dx equals 2x, all will be of the form y equals x squared plus a constant. We're going to switch over to Desmos and take a look at how that shakes out graphically when you take uh, the function y equals x squared plus c and you graph it for multiple different c's. Uh, such a representation is called a set of integral curves, and we'll see in a second what they look like. So here we are in Desmos, and I'm going to turn on a set of integral curves for the differential equation that we just discussed. So here are a whole bunch of different functions, all of the form y equals x squared plus a constant, and just for various constants. And as you can see, it's a fairly cool picture. And depending on the differential equation that you're for which you're making integral curves, it can potentially look very, very interesting. We could, if we wanted, assume an initial condition. So let's assume that we have an initial condition that says that y of one equals negative two. And so we need the integral curve that goes through this point here, one negative two. And of course we don't, we don't have it just by happenstance. Our inner set of integral curves didn't include that particular graph, but we can insert it after the fact. And there it is. So when you specify an initial condition for a differential equation, what you're really doing is specifying which of the infinitely many integral curves, if you're thinking graphically, which of the infinitely many integral curves is going to be the one that will give you the solution. We're back here on the dot cam and we're going to ask ourselves the uh, rather rhetorical question, what happens if you don't know how to solve the differential equation? Now, this was an easy one, but we'll continue using it for example purposes. It turns out there is a method called uh, that of the slope field that allows you to make a grainy, low-resolution image of the integral curves without knowing uh, the analytical form of the integral curves, without knowing the equation for them. And it goes like this. You identify a point, say 0, 0, and you ask yourself, OK, if there's an integral curve that goes through 0, 0, what is its slope as it passes through? What is its derivative? And the answer is that that's given by the differential equation. So for this particular differential equation, as any integral curve passes through any point, the tangent to that integral curve will have a slope that is 2 times the x-coordinate. So if the x-coordinates are 0, as they are here along the y-axis, then the slopes of any integral curves that pass through any points on the y-axis are going to have to have uh, horizontal tangents. We're going to have to have slopes of 0. When y equals 1, they're going to have to have slopes of 2 times 1 or 2. When y equals negative 1, they're going to have to have slopes of 2 times negative 1 or negative 2, and so on. So you can make these little uh, short little segments uh, as many of them, uh, as dense as you want, uh, over as big an area as you want, as long as you have the patience to keep doing it. But nobody would do this by hand uh, if they had the option of doing it in some other way. And fortunately, we have the option of doing it in some other way. So we're going to slip back to Desmos and see how that looks. So we're back here looking at our integral curves on Desmos. And let's ask ourselves what it would look like if we didn't know what the integral curves look like, but we did have the ability to generate a slope field that would be, as we said, a sort of a grainy, low-resolution look. 
at the integral curves. So I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to turn on the slope field. And it has to think about it for a second. And there we are. Um, and as you can see, there is a, a bit of a visual impression of uh, parabolas uh, congruent to y equals x squared. Takes a little bit of imagination with this particular slope field. But if you have uh, a denser slope field, more of these little slope pieces, um, and maybe they're smaller, uh, you get somewhat better look at, uh, or you get a somewhat better sense for what the integral curves look like. I'm going to turn back on our initial condition. And what you could do if you had an initial value problem and uh, all you had access to was a slope field because you didn't know how to solve the differential equation analytically, what you could do is you could just start from your initial condition and as, uh, as best you could follow along with what the nearby pieces of slope, slope let's say, I like to call them, are doing. Um, and if you've got a good eyeball, you may be able to uh, make a decent graph of the solution that goes through that particular uh, initial value point guided by what the nearby pieces of the slope field are doing. Now, the slope field wasn't of all that much value to us in this particular case because we already knew how to solve the differential equation. We just used this as an example. But suppose we are in a situation where we don't know what to do. Suppose we have something along the order of dy dx equals x plus y, and let's turn it into an initial value problem. Let's say that y of zero is two, and let's say we want to know what is y of one. Um, now, if you take a course in differential equations, you'll learn how to solve this thing fairly early on, but uh, if you're a student in AP Calculus AB, as are my students, um, this is not a form of differential equation that you'll learn to solve uh, during the course. So what do you do? Well, you make a slope field and you try to sort of trace your way from the point 0, 02 to a point uh, with an x-coordinate of 1 that seems to connect 0, 02, uh, connect to 0, 02 by way of the slope field. So let's take a look at that. So here is the slope field for dy dx equals x plus y. Uh, some of its features should not surprise us. For example, we've got horizontal slopes along the line y equals negative x, because of course, uh, if you add a number and it's opposite, you're going to get zero. And so you're gonna have horizontal tangent lines uh, along that sort of pathway. Let me locate our initial condition, y of zero is two. So there's the point zero two. And let's ask ourselves, all right, if we try to follow this slope field, starting at this point to the line x equals one, these things seem to be pretty steep. So we're climbing, 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 somewhere in the neighborhood of six, maybe. We should expect to find the answer to our question, what is y of one? To maybe make this a little more easy to follow, we can uh, add this particular integral curve to our slope field using Desmos. And as you can see, again, we, get, we, have, we have a little bit better chance to follow this with something like precision. Somewhere in the neighborhood of six should be the value of y of one. So it's a fairly cool thing. Without knowing analytically how to solve a differential equation, you can get answers to initial value problems uh, just by means of a slope field, which of course you can have a, your calculator or your computer generate for you. Those of you in AP Calc AB, there tend to be two different types of questions that uh, get asked on the AP exam involving slope fields. One would be that they would give you a, quite a small grid, not many lattice points at all and ask you to make a slope field for a given differential equation. So you just have to plug in the coordinates of each of the points that you're given, figure out what dy dx is, and try to make a little segment through that point that has that slope. 
The other thing they like to do is to give you complete slope fields and, uh, and initial conditions. They are right, sketch the solution. And that's basically what we're looking at right here, where you just uh, start at the point that represents the initial condition and try to uh, follow your way through the slope field in a, in a way that is in agreement with it. So that's a quick introduction to slope fields. I hope it's been helpful. Happy mathing.